On May 21st, 2016, we were married and it was the happiest day of our lives. But the year leading up to it was the hardest year we'd ever experienced. We endured emotional, mental, and physical trauma. Racial slurs, death threats, and slander from some of those closest to us. And we're told to give up on each other based solely on our differences, skin tone, and background. I had a loaded gun pressed to the back of my head after being asked simply, do you want to marry this guy? Brothers, we're not black. Let's stop talking like we're black. You know that the first enslaver of African people was the Arab Muslim, before the white man even came. Before the white man even came, the white man, to come and enslave black people, yeah? He was the first enslaver. 642 AD, bro. White people didn't start enslaving until the 1400s. You had a way, a way head start on white people, and you still do it today. Your people still do it today. So, bro, you can't talk shit to me, bro. I'm sorry. None of you can. And that's why I tell black people to wake up from this bullshit. You talk about, yeah, white people, white people, white people. Bro, your first enslaver and current enslaver, current, is an Arab Muslim. Say what you want about the British Empire. We can go into that. Say what you want about colonialism. We can go into that. Nowhere can you buy a black person in this world except for the, the Arab Muslim world. You can't buy no black people no more. Black people are on auction blocks in Europe, but they're on auction blocks in the Muslim Arab world, though. Muslims under Islam are still enslaving African people in Libya, in um, Saudi, in Sudan, right now. Right now. You have new, I have absolutely no grounds to talk to me about anything about Islamophobia, bro.